Hello stars, my name is Luke Salmon, welcome back to the Gaming Galaxy, and today I've returned with some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Previously, we finally made our way up to the floating city of Glitzville to hopefully find the next crystal star. So, with nothing better to do, let's uh, talk to people. Hi there. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build build a vacation home here. So this is Glitzville, huh? Not a bad place. If a little bit on the tardy side, perhaps I'll begin my stay with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. Hi there. Oh, there you customer. The aroma of yum in the air is is the specialty of Glitzville, Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins for one. We buy one. I don't have any money. Well, let's see what's in this giant chain shop decorated building up here. Let's see. Well, I don't see what's this command. It says welcome. Let's see what we got. Oh, Miss Mouse, hey, hey, how are you doing? Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Hmm, no, no dialogue? Right. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. Here, savage battles go on each and every day. This is the fabled Glitz Pit. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody. Sorry. Move it or lose it. Right. Let's see what's through here. Oh, seems we got like a kind of wrestling type match going on here. Wow, this place is so cool. Mario, look up there. There's battle match going on right now. That's right. Uh, I think it's. <clears throat> That's right. Uh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Bam. Uh. I'm gonna put the Roblox sound effect over that. <laughs> Stay down, pincushion. You don't want any more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Whippy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what. Do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rock Hawk. I'll give you another world... <clears throat> I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to Mommy again. Hoo-wee, champ. That was great, eh? Whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You, you call that a match? There ain't there a re ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can hear me. Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. There are a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weak links might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is the champ. There's the champions. Oh, you see that, Mario? That thing on the shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. That spark with a crystal star. Um, but... That doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? Hmm. Strange. Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Or can we? Steal that thing! Nah. We should... We should... We should steal that thing. Nah. Battle our way to the top. That's a trigger, Mario. Do this thing right! All you have to do is become champ, and you'll get that belt fair and square. So, I guess we're gonna get started. There must be a novice sign-up somewhere. My time is good. Let's, uh, let's, sign that, let's find that guy in charge before I lose my nerve. Hmm. Hey, what's up? We want to sign up. What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter? Hmm. 
Well, if you say, you better go meet with Mr. Grubber, the promoter. Mr. Grubber's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Down through. Oh, it's right here. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And aren't you one rude dude coming in without knocking? What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? That do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an up-and-comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters. All primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, but let me say it, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn, skip it. All right, all right, son. I can hear you come from. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's parrot toot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich, is fa being rich and famous is dog diddy dang down on might. Now I can't mix it up with no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You hear me, your son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look back at all those sweet dreamers and uh, have a um. Coops is just standing there listening to this guy ramble like an evil, <laughs> like a villain. That's the spirit chief. Let's have a little walk and talk. Come now. I'm having way too much fun with this accent. <laughs> oh, this is just this is an automatic cutscene. Don't have to do anything with this. Now how do you like this, pard? Just, just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. This is inside Deluxe. You become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the money of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt, no, no, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself, and the big life of wealth and comfort awaits. Well, now uh, here we have the ma major league. Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally stationary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, but there ain't just one world champion. Clawing away the top and taking the belt to become champ. Ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire in it, too, pard. You got the eye of the tag there. I got the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. <laughs> You're gonna be champ, I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, one other th hey, one other thing. You gotta sign a little bit of, little bit of contract to be a, be a fighter. It ain't no thing, just take a second or two of your time. Just the name right here. Sign me up. You signed the contract. Best thing you've ever done, son. Now, you're Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, it likes the little punch of the fighter's name. Get me? Let me see your. Uh... Bam! Hooey! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez! Ain't that a beaut? Dana, if. Dana. Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius! That a. A, na a name that good comes around, oh, around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone was too bad with one of the Great Gonzalez. Maybe proud, son. 
It actually, I actually have to take breaths after doing that accent. <laughs> now, what? <clears throat> what? Well, now that we got that, now, now we got the business out of, out of the way. Jolene, could you come in here a minute, darling? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Treat it, huh? Jo Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league rock room. Alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be doing kind, please follow me. Now, if you couldn't already tell, this uh, chapter is mainly is mainly due to just fight. <clears throat> As you know, you are a, contract, a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubber says goes, period. You must, you must do what he says. Also, for your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubber releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as, we, as they become relevant. <clears throat> Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this ding room, I suggest you work your way up to the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log on to this compu computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you match up against. You, you, you will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with that. Then pick reserve a match. Alrighty then. Welcome to the automated match re reser re reservation system. What is your command? Reser reserve a match. Well, how? Well, well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fists dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't worry about them. They'll be peas cake. Just mop them, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up. So appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about any of the rules? Just ask ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good pardon. All right. Okay, your battle is your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the most the opponent's HT to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When, when Mr. Grubber sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you if you get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the major league. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Yeah. For, for now, just wait until security comes to you, Mr. Gonzalez. So, this chapter um. People say it's the worst chapter because it's nothing but fights, but personally, seeing as I like the combat here in this game, I mean, I mean, I skip fights all the damn time. Oh, here we go. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. All right. Scary to your desk, you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. All right, we're ready to go with our match. So, this chapter is basically nothing but fights throughout. So, I'm not going to be showing every fight. I mean, if I mean, if something interesting happens, or if it's plot relevant, you know, if it's a rank, if it's a rank, a rank to potentially rank up, then I'm gonna show. But so, basically, what I'm trying to say is, I can't skip every single fight because if I do, it's gonna be kind of the Goomba Bros have been waiting and waiting, and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. <laughs> how do Goomba Bros? How how y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha! Are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's you. Wayne just Wayne, Wayne just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think you might oughta... I, I think maybe you oughta call an ambulance for him now. Just save time later. <clears throat> Hot day to dang fighter fans! There's the great Gonzalez now, striding up. I tell you this, Root got some guts strolling up here like he owns the place. Woo! Uh, I'm still. If you don't, if you don't like the voices, you might. <laughs> Sorry. 
Now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bunk. Oh God. Oh, appeal to the crowd at least once. Hey, that's not fair. You can't attack attack where the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Ah, uh, quit crying, Wade. That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's your... Where's our thank you? So, I have a very simple tactic. Stay out of the crowd. Hmm. Can't do a power shift. So next turn, uh, I appeal to the crowd, and I'm gonna get a uh, honey mushroom or a honey flower. I th I, I'm, uh, a honey syrup is what I mean. Uh, a honey syrup, and then just have Koops do his power shell. I don't know if I have that. No, oh, I do. do. Yeah, now you go. Wow, one XP point. <laughs> you got one star point. <laughs> Ugh. The Great Gonzalez wins! Tell me, son, what was this first day's victory like? That fight, what a joke. I'll tell you what's up, uh, folks. I am whooping. This kid's got steals. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the Great Gonzalez. I mean, it was a bunch of Goombas, so was it really a fight? I don't think so. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd, you know? Pump them up more. I'm hoping you give me some more razzle dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other. Good. I'll be on my way then. Mr. Lean here? Mr. Lean here will give you your fight money. See ya! Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Three coins! Rose to 19! Yo, Rook, how's your first fight, first fight, dog? I I'm I'm King K, man. Just a brush league scrub like you. Good to meet you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy's here, Master Crash. <laughs> nice to meet you, bum. Well, now they got to know each other. I will give you advice, bum. As Mr. Lean was saying, you better BOMB obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you clear the conditions of win, you get to fight higher ranked foes. BOMB! If you can't clear them, then you'll BOMB! End up battling a lower ranked fighter. BOMB! You can't climb the BOMB ranks fighting the bottom of the barrel. BOMB BOMB! Yeah, the man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. <laughs> Not just sometimes BOMB! Advice is always useful, bump. <laughs> right, my man, whatever. This lean machine is ba bandy andy. Heh, <laughs> nice meeting you. I'm not here too often, but if you see me around, just say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep, if you sleep in the bed over there, it'll, it will, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushion bed in the chance room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Clefter. Crack. Clefter no like make friend with mustache. He's there, Clef Dog. Doing it the friendliest guy. Doing it the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew, man. Need something? Ask us. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. You and me gotta adventure square off, so good luck, man. Alrighty then. I'm gonna rest a bit. And actually, I don't know if we—I don't know if we've actually seen the resting animal. Oh, well, we have. And it was the inn. He just disappears under the covers. Well, he is paper, so yeah, he would vanish completely. All right, everything was fully restored. Now let's queue up our next fight. How long have I been? Twenty minutes, I think. I, I think we can. Keep going for like one more fight. Well, how about it, Gonzalez? Fixing for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be ranked 18 in the glitz pit. The key pay, the key, the K P Coopers. Now, listen, son. This battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with a little chickadee in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Now get in there. Bring this puppy home real quick. Hey, dog, looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man, to the both of us. Alrighty, man. Now we just gotta wait until... Yeah. Oh, there's security. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Who you calling bub, huh? <laughs> Let's do this. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez! Now, funny thing about that title, the Merciless Executioner, it was actually something a bit more brutal, you could say, in the Japanese version. It was the Executioner from Hell. <gasps> I... Mario is described as an Executioner from Hell in the Japanese version of this game. That is awesome! And the shell machines of doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the key P with the KP Coopers. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. Me and my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were gonna square off, and now he's on. Get yourselves ready to battle. Let the games begin, my friends. Nope. Defeat your opponent in five turns or less. Press A with perfect timing. Oh god, this is getting cruel. You have Koopa power, you have uh, turtle power on your side. <laughs> I have star power on my side, motherfucker. Ah oh, shit, damn it. Nah, this is still pretty good. He's thinking, ah oh, shit. Ow. 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 Oh, damn. One XP. One XP. So, um. How'd that go? We got a silver winner, the great Gonzalez. You won? Cool! I'm... That was anticlimactic! <laughs> Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Four coins! Mario's ranking rose to 18. Now, if you excuse me, I must be going. Hey, wait... Hey. Way to hand out a B B 
beat a beat down out there, man. You you beat me straight up. A good swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? Well, that was quite the spectacle. God, I don't know if I should keep going because we've been going for twenty for uh, twenty six uh, twenty six minutes, and uh, I don't want to upload a thirty minute video like last time. Fuck it, one more. Reserve a match. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fix for a fight, huh? Well, alrighty then. Let's see, your next opponent will be rank 17 in the Glutz Pit, the Pokey Triplets. Now, since I'm this battle, I want you to avoid using any of them, their flower points. Yeah, you heard me. Let's see you do it without any of them fancy pants moves. Now, get in there and show me something, son. Alrighty then. No flower points, so we just have to stick to our basic attacks. This should be interesting. Alrighty, match time. For our next battle, we got the merciless, exec merciless executioner from hell, the great Gonzalez, and the spiked terror triplets. Yep, a fight to the finish with the pokey triplets. Um, okay, we can do this. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. Get yourselves ready to battle! No flower points, so don't use the FP. Well, I can't step. Bam. Bam! Out you go. Um. Bam. I wonder if. Wait, we're left. Wait. He never said anything about not using items. Ooh! Ah, oh, damn it. That would have been so cool to get that bingo. There we go. Stylish too, damn. Eight star points, not bad. We got ourselves a winner, the great Gonzalez. We won? Cool. That was awesome. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. You received four, four coins. Mario's ranking rose to 17. If you, no, if you, excuse me, I must, be, I must be going. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? You just finished being down some four pools or what? You're looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a bit of your luck, man. Yeah, that'd be nice. 
Get in there, you. What the hell? How many times do I have to tell you? That room is absolutely off limits. If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that, too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit. Understood? I don't know what that's about. Again, dude, man, you just, you just got a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K, didn't mean to bring Queen Mag in here. Oh, don't sweat it, be money. Jolene can take that tude attitude and shove it up her nose. Why are we chasing that glow anyway? You got a thing for her? Shut up, K. Now, if you folks are part of me, I must be off. Well, today's venture was quite adventurous, but I'm afraid this is where the episode must end because I don't want to record past the 30 minutes and then make it, and then have to upload a 30 minute episode because I am pretty sure you guys don't want to see more of that. So, next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're going to continue our fighting our way up, fighting our way up through the ranks of the Glitz Pit and hopefully find out what the hell that was up to. Eh, but I'm sure, but again, I'm sure it was nothing. Until then, take care everyone.